so sure that you have noticed a lot during this video, Drayden's various vocal stems. Are we all going to see in our pajamas today? Is that our general plan? So we're going to do it different today. We're going to start with language and then you can decide if you want to do reading right away or if you want to do, or I mean, if you want to do math right away, if you want to take a break first. Okay. I know yesterday you wanted to have just gotten it all done at once and I didn't know that. So, so today that's, yeah, that's, that's the one that I wanted to do. Okay. Today. If at any point you change your mind, you let me know. Okay? Here's your joke of the day. What kind of key opens the door on Thanksgiving? Can you give me a hint? What do you eat on Thanksgiving? Oh, a turkey. So I'm guessing a turkey key. Turkey. Get it? Turkey. <laughs> what should you wear today? Do you need a heavy coat or only a light shirt? Should you bring an umbrella? Can you try and spell the word atmosphere for mom? Sure. Give me the marker. Sound it out as best you can. I'm, I'm, I know it all except for this. I, I'm not sure if it's an O or an A. I think it's an O. Okay on another homeschool video that uh, she said something that really hit home with me and that was if he asked me a question about a letter and a word I'm going to help him out because there's no reason for a six year old to be frustrated over an O or an A now let's see how we did on spelling atmosphere alright A you check your work okay A T M O S P H E R E. Yep. Great job. To our Math. lesson oh. in the good and the beautiful. Practice sight word ladders. I don't need to time you. We're just going to say them once and then I'm going to ask you to spell them once I pulled it away, okay? But didn't we already do this? Yes, but we're struggling with this one word up here. Only? Yeah. We're, we're, we're struggling with spelling it, okay? So look at it and spell it. O-N-L-Y. Now the rest, just say the word. Nice, every, each, many, more, little, think. Okay, now I'm going to take these away and I'm going to give you back the whiteboard. And our last word is think. I think that's the last word. It really is. Well, now we're going to go back and fix a couple capital letters. All right, put your lid on your marker and let's see what's next. Can you put your lid on your marker? Okay, so what are we doing next? All right, A and R together make the sound R as in farm. Let's make a list of fun story ideas that could take place on a farm called Big Star Farm. Did you always said Drayden on it? No. Remember I told you every time it says the child, I'm going to change it to your name. So what were the words again? Big Star Farm. Yep. Good job. Okay, here's another one. What if a stray horse showed up at the farm? What would you do? Think about that. Okay, say we lived out on a farm, right? And you went out one day to feed the chickens, and there was a horse just standing there. What would you want to do with the horse? There was. 
was a wind storm like the derecho on the farm. Where did it go? Do you remember the Wizard of Oz? When Dorothy, there was a tornado and Dorothy didn't get in where everybody else went. I'm gonna erase that now, and I'll put the lid on the marker. Even thing. the basement? Yep, all of it. Yeah. We're gonna practice more words that use yeah. A R. Even these? Yep, all of it. R. First, we're gonna say each separate sound in the word, and then put the sounds together. And it says, even if Drayden can read the words, it is helpful to learn the skill of separating sounds for more challenging words to come. Grayson, you need to be quiet, or you need to come do your own work. Alright, ready? R, mm, farm, R, mm, arm, R, mm, harm, art, part, st, art, start, ch, art, chart, Now you're going to go read for 10 minutes. Then you're going to come back and you're going to write these sentences on a different piece of paper. And that's your writing for the day. And then we are done with language. Okay? So you pick your book and I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. What book are you going to pick to read today? I, 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 I just want to read it. Um, this spot. Go fast! Did you lose your did you pay a lot? Like ask not too much. Said his father. Good father. Then my not like his father. Okay, tiny. This is a really good book. I like this one. <laughs> Just wait till he's done reading it. Oh, big set. I'm hungry, guys. Didn't you buy some sides for me to get? Like mother paper. Let me see that salt. Do you need help opening that? Mm -hmm. I want a different show. Well, honey, I really want you to do your schoolwork. So once you eat this, then you can come do some schoolwork, okay? Are you hiding? Don't want mom to see you? Or you don't want the camera to see you? Huh? Okay, I won't record you if you don't want me to. Oh, you were just pretending? Yeah. Were you just pretending? Are we all going to stay in our pajamas today? Is that our general plan? Uh -huh. Okay. Look at this, uh, Mommy. Yeah. Does cow start with it? Cow? Cow. It does not start with I, does it? Is that cake the cake the Invitation does. Okay, Drayton, then your job is to copy these sentences. Well, I think it's all the hard ones and I get all the new ones. And when you get to here, you need to figure out what this word is. What the picture stands for. And if you need help with that part, you just let mom know. But you would need to write them really nice. So Drayden's copying his sentences. And Grayson's cutting his paper. And... Sorry. Please can I be done because I don't want to be 
sun. And mom, I don't know what why there why is there three. Because it's more than one. What are they? And glue and glue and glue and glue. Dogs. Glue and glue and See, they're all dogs. If it was one, it would be dog, but it's three, so you know it's dogs. So D O G S. Hey, you gotta cut the white off. But I'm sorry. Oh, you can do it. What the? You let me know when you have the energy to finish it. You can stay here until the. We're right here for you. <laughs> Ink, eh, eh, ink, eh, eh, insects. And this is, it is a birthday cake, but it's actually a eh, eh, invitation. And what's that one in your hand? Eh, uh, lizard? No, remember, we've made it. Eh, eh, egg. Iguana. Iguana. Jenin, remember you when we made iguana? Now you need to color your eyes. Trace your eyes and write your name. Okay. You can use a marker or a crayon or a pencil. I'll speak about gray. Okay. Gray for Grayson. That, that's it. Jane, you're doing such a great job at staying on task. Case Y. Here. Can you see your grass on this paper? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to make it go from the grass uh, to the ground grass. on one side and then from the grass to below the ground on the other down. side. Straight line down, across the top, across the bottom. Okay. Away, put away the cake. Very good. Put away the cake. Remember, capital at the front and all lowercase, and then a period at the end. You did really good. Now you just need to write your name. Do you need help writing your name? Yeah. Okay. G. Remember, G is like this, and then an R is a line down and a half a lump. Nice end. Uh. So thank you for doing this work. I appreciate that. Good job, high five. You need a period at the end of your sentence, honey. Okay, you have one more. They also own. You upside down, fella. What are those? Good. So you write that sentence, and then you are done with language, and you can take a break, or we can do math right now. It's up to you. I think you should have a break. No, I don't want a break. Okay, but you need a capital T at the beginning. How many are there in each group? Uh, this one has more than that. But how many are in this one? Two. And how many are in this one? Seven. Okay. So there's nine all together. Okay. You can show what is happening by writing an equation. Seven plus two equals nine. Seven plus two equals nine. The seven plus two on one side of the equals sign is the same as nine on the other side. So this is called an addition equation. Seven plus nine is a true statement. Ta -da. So it is a fact. How many are in that group? Um, four. Okay. And how many are in this group? Three. So four plus we equals, equals seven. Good job. 
How many are in the circle? Seven. Seven. Now count with me. Ready? Eight. Nine. nine ten. ten. So seven plus three equals ten. And we did that by counting up. Now we need textbook page 25 and 26. Textbook page? Are you, are you sure this is a textbook? Does it say textbook? No, it says book text. Okay. Remember the page? 25 and 26. Good remembering. I'm pretty sure you're way closer to that. Though. There are seven butterflies all together. We write the number sentence like this. 4 plus 3 equals 7. So there are how many flowers all together? 10. 10. You know how I knew all that? Because it's right here. 6 plus 4 equals 10. No, because I, I looked at this. Oh, you read it in the, in the word problem. Yes. See, you could write it like this, or you can write it like this, can't you? Three were already there, and two more came. How many are there? Five. Tell a story for each picture, then complete the number sentence. Go ahead. Okay, keep going, but it's going to be a little different now. See what it says now? Tell two different stories for each picture. Then come... I don't know what that word is. Complete. Read the number sentences. Mom, I want you to do one and then I'll do the other and I'm going to have you start. Oh, uh, no. This is independent work. So what's the first one that you could easily do? What's the most obvious? Oh, it doesn't make sense because both of them are plus like Honey, don't worry about this right now, okay? What is one way that you could do this? And then I'll help you with the second harder way. But I want you to find the easy way first. Think about what you did here, okay? Cheap. Okay, we're going to take a break. No. Then you need to focus. I think you need a break. And if you're telling me you don't, then you need to open your eyes and look at your work. You did the same thing here that you're doing here, Okay. It's just asking you two ways. You find the easy way, and I'll help you figure out the hard way. You them have those, and the other three don't. That's right. Good job. I like it. So five are girls and one is a boy. That's one way. One plus five equals six. And another way is three plus three equals six. All right. We have another page to do. Now it gives you the two parts. I'm going to take these because they're going to be a little distracting. Okay. This is close. We're close to done. If you want to finish, let me know. You're going to write an addition sentence for each picture. Do you see how they have them divided? So you're going to figure it out. You're going to write blank plus blank equals blank. And you're going to write it right here, okay? You let me know when you're done. So, so I need to write an equation for it? That's right. A number sentence, yep. An addition sentence. Very nice. Why is this paper so bumpy? Because it's a workbook and it's on the back page of towards the front, so it's going to be a little bit bumpy. Wait. Plus three. Plus six. Good job. Now we have two more things to do and we are done. And what time is it? 10.17. Trace the long and short hands on each clock. So 
so that they show the correct time. And this one's been done for you. Just trace it. it. Gives you some idea of how long that you actually need to make your lines. Okay, and then move on to the next one. Why do Why do they have arrows? Um, because a lot of hands-on clocks actually do have arrows. This one looks kind of funny. Look, doesn't it kind of look like a, a kind of angle seven? Kind of angle seven. Mm-hmm. And then this one kind of looks like, like the same thing, but backwards. Like, like a sideways V. Very nice. You went very quick on that today. I didn't even have that time to get out your other paper. Thank you for participating in school today. High five on your hard work. Have a good day. Sometimes we might do more, sometimes we might do less, but I feel like he did a really good job today and he wanted to get it all done at once, so I'm gonna let him be done for the day. If he gets bored later, we'll do something else. Otherwise, he'll do Khan Academy for an hour and with Grayson from four to five. And that works on a lot of stuff with him, like nouns and adjectives and just a lot of stuff reading reading comprehension and then we'll still have our 10 minutes of read aloud this evening thanks for watching i hope you find this somewhat informative or helpful so sure that you have noticed a lot during this video drayden's various vocal stems that is very normal and typical of someone who is autistic and we don't stop that unless it gets to the point where it's interfering with what he's trying to do. Um, I just wanted to add that in there because I think it's important to know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey, hey, hey.